All right, guys, welcome back into the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, and all that jazz. You already know the story. So I had a viewer contact me about a potential buy, and we went and checked it out. Alright guys, so sorry about the mix-up of teams. We did have the Raiders sweater, which I got. Um, it's a Mitchell and Ness. I did get it at a thrift store. I think I paid like $7. $7. So you can get really good deals at thrift stores. Maybe not so much to resell, but this was like brand new. I probably could have sold it. Um, probably new without tags. Pretty close to that anyway. If I wanted to sell it, but I think it is it a large? It says extra large, but it's kind of small. It it may have been a woman's, um, so it fits like a men's large. I'm not really sure what it is, but it does fit really nice. It looks it looks nice on me, and uh, it's got the old um, Raiders pass, which is really really dope. So we're just gonna let's put this over here, not to be confused. Wow, I have like three sweaters here already. I'm gonna have to take them sweaters and put them in the car. All right, so we got a total of, let me get another count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 items. There were some items that I did want to pick up, but I just didn't have enough cash on me, and I just put a bunch of money out on a storage unit, So, which we'll talk about that later in another video. And, excuse me, so it came out to like 470 an item. A little bit high, but where do you see these items, guys? And I mean, I think I paid a little bit too much for the... For the Speedos, but they are made in USA. Some of them are in very good condition. We have cashmere, silk polo. Um, just really, really, really nice items that are going to do very well. And a lot of sweaters. Like, I just made sure that I picked up a bunch of sweaters. Um, some of them I haven't comped out yet. We have a nice Nautica shirt. There were Jordan shirts that I missed out on. They were brand new with tags. They were vintage 90s Jordan I don't know if they were 80s. I think they were 90s. Most of this stuff is like early to mid 90s. Um, maybe Y2K possibility, but I think this is all 90s. Um, I'm not really worried about the Jordan shirt. She wanted 20 a piece, and I think she had four or five of them. The guy bought all of them. Um, I didn't have the cash flow to buy them anyway, so when I got there, it just worked out perfect for what I picked up. And some of these $3 items, some of them are cashmere, so i got to really, really look over these items and make sure. Two of them I already see holes in, but they're Jones, New York. They are cashmere, but they don't sell for a lot. We're talking $30 new with tags. So if I, if I lose out a little bit on those two items, maybe I'll just sell them both together new with defects. And I'll probably get about maybe like $30 or $40 for both, for both sweaters, but um, they are vintage. So we're going to get right into it. First, we're going to get into this has been sitting at home. I'm just going to list it. Um, it is a little bit, it's a little dirty. Um, maybe I'll try to clean the inside or maybe I'll just sell it the way that it is. It is a Tiger Woods. It's probably at least, it's a BR, probably at least a 20, 15 to 20 dollar item. So I'm just going to just move it and sell it. I was going to take it to flea market, but it's just sitting around at my house. I keep forgetting to take it to flea. So. We're just not going to worry about it. We're just going to, yeah. I think the receipt's in the bag. Whoops. All right, so the lady wasn't available when I went up there. I was kept trying to text her. Um, she was at dinner, and that's probably why she just wasn't. Some people are just really, really stern when it comes to some, comes to business and family. They just keep it completely separated. Um, didn't I say that in the last video? Who cares, right? So we spent a total of eleven ninety eight. We spent a total of $12.00 at the Salvation Army. I popped in just to see what was up. It was Wednesday, yesterday. Um, I, I think today's like the fourth or something like that. I don't even know. 
what the date is. This should tell me. Today is the 5th. It is October 5th, 2023. Um, and yesterday was Wednesday, so it's half off at Community Aid and it's half off at the Salvation Army. And Goodwill run sales. They do color sales, too. Um, not as much. You can't really save as much money at Goodwill. Goodwill's more on the high um, priced item. You just got to be there at the right time when they do put things out. And you got to have a vast knowledge. I try to have um, a more vast knowledge of, of different items like clothing and electronics and vintage clothing and vintage games, um, you know, <clears throat> video games, um, board games, everything. So <clears throat> the more the merrier, guys. The more knowledge you have in your noggin, the better off you'll be. So like I said, I paid $12 for these two items. We're going to go ahead and put this receipt I'll just shove it in my wallet so I don't forget. I always put receipts in my wallet and then I put them and I, I log them in to my little, little folder and then I go through them and they're for taxes. So we got these Peter Millar. So they were really cheap. Five ninety nine is great for a vest. Um, I did look them over. I don't see, I don't see any stains. I didn't have a ton of time to really go over. This one does have a club logo. Um, I'm not sure what that logo is. Probably something local. Probably something local. It doesn't matter because this is reversible. It's actually silver on the other side. So let's see what it looks like on the other side. Let's see if the logo is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's BMW. Cool. I didn't even see that. I didn't even notice that. Check that out. It's a BMW championship. Um, I don't know what this style is called. I don't know. It's probably in the pocket. I'm going to want to look in the pocket. Like, here we go. First. First. It's polyester. Um, it's all polyester, which means that this isn't a down. Does it have a date on it? No. But it's a Peter Millar, and it is a large, and it's BMW. So it has so much going on. They could always wear it on the silver side. Um, there's no stains that I can see on it. $6 is excellent. Um, this, I don't see this being worth less than $30. We're going to go ahead and list that today. All the coats and jackets we're going to list today. Uh, because I all I have is time to work on them, and this one is this one is a Peter Millar. It tells you on the inside what it is. It is a hyper light vest. I was looking these up. These are $137 new, guys. So this is it's not in perfect condition. I think it does. Yeah, there's some stains on the front. I didn't notice that. Um, probably not going to get them out. I'm probably just going to sell it with those light stains. I don't think that this is reversible. I'm not sure. No, this one is not reversible. It's actually camo on the inside. So you think it would be, but it's not. It's got like a camo, camo on the inside. If you guys can you see that? Yeah, a little bit of camo. I'm trying to get this lighting right. So for six dollars, I still think this was worth it. I still don't see getting less than thirty dollars for that vest. So uh, I see a lot of people listing them for like ninety dollars, eighty dollars. I honestly don't think that I'm going to get that amount, so let's see if we can get this lighting right. It's just, there's no lighting in this. As you guys can see, look back there. My lights are on, and it's so dark in here. Like, it's getting it's getting worse for me to take photos because I just can't, I can't get enough light in here. It's, it's just so, photo lights don't always work. You got to have other lights, too, that kind of, you know, expand I'm like I don't know what expand or you know make I don't know I, I can't think of the right word anyway who cares right all right so check out this nautica we got the nautica pocket t vintage new old stock on the old tag check out the back it's got a really cool map on it I'm gonna look it over we're gonna take these little stickers off like I said some of the items were priced high the ones that were priced low were like the most profitable items. So, I mean, it was a win-win situation. I would rather have paid five. This one's looking really good. It's not a single stitch, but there's no stains. No stains. No holes. I'm glad that they put that tag. All right, so this one is good to go. This one is really nice. This is probably a $30 piece right here. Um, I'll do some free shipping. I'll probably list it high. If I can find the exact same shirt, that would help out a great deal. This we also paid 
five doll hairs for. This is a vintage Speedo sweatshirt. Um, from the from what I'm seeing from the condition, a lot of this stuff is new old stock. This was never worn. So this is a Speedo 1992. It does have a stain. It has a very, a very light stain. You guys can probably not even see that. But still, really cool graphic on the back. It's okay. It's not, it's not great. But this is made in USA. So this was worn. It does have some light stains. That could just be from... They do have like a smell to them. Like, an, like maybe like an, like an attic smell. Like an old smell. It's not a really bad smell. I maybe ought to get it out with Febreze. I really don't want to wash these items. I hate washing vintage and old items. Because I'm always afraid that it's going to mess them up. That it's going to... The colors are going to run. I do know how to separate clothing. I'm not completely useless, but um, yeah. So let's get into the rest of these shirts. Some of them, I should have looked over all the Speedos. We just kind of counted them all. This one is 1992. This one's really cool. It's got on the sleeve and then it has on the big logo on the back. And as you can see, it says 92. This one, I don't, I don't really see any stains on this one either. But there was, yeah, I see them on the back. Is that? Stains are from the yeah. See, there's there's gonna be stains on some of these older, older shirts. I can see there's a big. And I paid five a piece for these, but I see these selling for a good bit. I see them selling for like thirty dollars. So this vintage speedo, it does really well, guys. It has a pretty good selfie rate. Not crazy high, but not bad either. Then we got this chaps, really big size, really good condition. Um, it's not single stitch. Check out that old label, guys. It is made in USA. You guys missed it. It's made in USA. Really, really cool. Um, but yeah, awesome. And all of this stuff should be easy to list. There is a couple small stains on it. It's to be expected with shirts that are from the 90s. They're not going to be perfect. A lot of times they're folded and they sit for years and they get lines on them from being from they get that yellow line from sitting so <clears throat> some of them are going to be like that we are going to get some stains I, it's to be expected i'm not this one says aquatic volley this one's cool this one is also made in usa speedo this one is a single stitch we are getting a, a couple little light stains. These are big sizes too, guys, which means that I can always I can ask for more on these. Really, really cool graphics. Got that they got that 90s vibe, you know what I mean? Here's another one. This one's cool because it's a darker color. This one is Varnette France. I don't know what this is. I wonder if these are made in is this made in USA? This is made in USA. I've never heard of this. I don't know what that is. Hopefully that's a bolo. That would be nice. I've never heard of that, so I don't know what that brand is. It's not Speedo. And all of these shirts have that smell. Like they all have like a yeah, like an like an attic smell. This one's really nice. This is a Speedo Echo Speedo Logic, made in USA. It says water is life. Speedo 92. Yeah, these are like close to 80s, guys. Really cool graphic. Great condition. I think we did okay. I think that Pan 5 was definitely worth it. As long as we don't find tons of holes in this wool, cashmere, and silk. Then we'll be okay. And we got another one here. I want to go back today. I'm going to say, if I have time, which I will, because all I'm doing today is listing... I got about eight items to ship. Sales are a little slow yesterday. We've been doing okay. Um, this one is, there's the date there, 91, guys. Look at that. That's awesome. 1991. All of you guys that like this vintage clothing can definitely appreciate. These are, like, brand new. Yeah, they just have that smell to them. I think I'm just going to Febreze them before I ship them. I can wash them. I just think that that's going to mess them up. They are all single. Not all of them, but this one is single stitch. Obviously, from the 90s, it's going to be single stitch. These are going to be so easy to list, guys. Six pictures, 
front, back, tag, material, um, pit to pit, you know, hem, neck to hem, just really, really easy. All right, now here's where I'm going to have to inspect these guys. You're going to have to bear with me because we are going to inspect them together. And we're going to take the hangers and I guess we're going to put them there. So we have a brand new, it's not vintage. This is probably like Y2K, $90 price tag, 100% wool. Nautica. Now I've seen some of these. People are listing these up. Um, this one doesn't have the tapered hem. This one has the flat hem at the bottom. And the best way for you to find holes is to hold them up to the light. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold this up to the light, and hopefully, yeah. See, right there on the hem, there's a hole there. Yeah, I think that a lot of these, I think they're going to be, de they're going to have defects. And it's just because they're, these are older items. Wherever they were, you know. So, and the Jordan shirts, no one's going to care. Like the, the condition, it's not going to take away from the value crazy. All right, so this one has a small hole in it. I still see 30 or $40 on that one. Even with that little hole at the hem, it's not very noticeable. And then here are the Jones New York. This one is new with tags, but they do have holes. Like this one has a hole there. I'm going to sell these together. They're both an extra large. Um, they got a few holes in them. I don't know how that's going to work out. But yeah, these two are just like, you know, whatever. Let's take them off the hangers. We'll go from there. And... I don't know how well these are going to do. I'm just going to lock them together, like I said, and you know we'll just see what we get. And check this out. This is a Tuscan silk or Tucson, 100% Tucson silk, new with tags. Look at the price on that, guys. $145. Where do you see the prices on some of these other ones? Now this one is a knit. I'm not expecting. Whoops, broke the hanger. Throw that away. <clears throat> that's trash I gotta take my trash out anyway today it's getting full now these this obviously already has like like holes all through it like because that's the way it's made we're gonna look make sure there's not no big giant holes you know like a stretched out hem this one I think we're good this one is good this one is, and these ones are different. These ones are not, like these were stored somewhere else because they don't have that smell. They don't smell like that at all. There's no stains. This one is good, and this is a beautiful sweater. Um, this, I believe, I could probably get about $80 for this. So I paid 80 bucks for everything. I think that this is going to pay for all of it. Wait till you see the rest of them, guys. Like, man. You guys are going to be like, wow, what, you know, I, I know, leave some comments down below, guys. I want to hear your, you know, I want to hear opinions. I want to hear what you guys have to say about my hauls. <clears throat> Just let me know if you think that. I absolutely think it was definitely worth it. Check out this one. It's got all the tags on it. It's a beautiful sweater. Um, it's not the greatest brand. It's a Colors by Alexander Julian. But it's all new at Tag. This is from the Bonton. It was a $90 sweater from the Bonton. We're looking at we're looking at $85 from the Bonton. And this is definitely older. It's made in USA too. Man, look at that, guys. That is just absolutely awesome. This is gonna look great. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it and make sure there's no hole. It's it's actually color block too. I just noticed that the sleeves are color block. This is awesome, dude. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, there's a stink bug on it. We got him. We're going to throw him out the window. Or the door. There you go. It's funny because my cat, this morning my cat was playing one of them stink bugs. See, I don't know if they eat your clothing. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about them, but... I'm praying that we don't get no more holes. I can deal with a couple little stains here and there on some of those t-shirts, but this is looking great. This is new. I don't know why she sold, but she, I think she just wanted, she just wanted to get rid of the clothing. Like, 
Some people don't see value where there is value. Some people don't see it, you know? And it's not their fault, it's just knowledge, you know? Or it's just because people wanna sell things cheap and those are the people that I love to buy from. <clears throat> Who wouldn't? Who absolutely wouldn't? And this is a large, it's really big for a large. It could possibly be like an extra large. Like if I put that on, I would be, it would be swimming on me. But I, would, I guess you could put a shirt under it. You could wear like a suit and a shirt and I think you'd be okay. But this, I don't even know the value to this, guys. Look at the colors on the sleeves, guys. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. This is really, really cool. I've never, I've never seen a sweater like this before, ever. Like, awesome. We got flies in here. I gotta get my fly sweater out and get them. All right, so this, I think, that's not color. I think there's some stains on this. This, I kind of just, I couldn't leave it. This is actually skiing. Some older Gap does very well. I have t-shirts that have been sitting. I may have sold one of the shirts, but this, this is new with tags, but it does have, it does have some stains. It has some staining on the back. I don't know if I can just rub that out. I can probably just do, it'll just be new with defects. Some of the knit is coming out. It's just really old. Check out this gap really cool skiing gap like just i think that the defects are not really going to matter much <clears throat> 78 dollars new and this is old guys this is it's made in china but i still do believe that this is 90s really really cool wow telling you guys 80 bucks i spent 80 dollars and this is wool i think this is wool yeah this is 100 percent wool this is a wool sweater it has some stains from it, just from it sitting, wherever it was, it was just sitting. And bam, this is Daniel Bishop. This is not new, but I'm guessing this is 100% two-ply cashmere, not a great brand. I could have left it, but I only paid $3 for it. So I didn't overpay. I don't know if there's any holes in it. We're going to check. Like I said, guys, we are in this together. We are hopefully, this is a thicker knit, this is two ply, so I'm guessing that there's probably not going to be, there's not going to be any holes. I always put my hands through the sleeves too and kind of stretch, just kind of stretch your hand out and just kind of look around, that's how I do it. Then again, yeah, see, nope, I'm, I'm keeping the next sweater, I think I'm going to keep it, we're going to try it on, yep, this one's good, no holes, not a great brand. But it's in really good condition. It's got a little light stain right there. It's kind of just, that's kind of just rubbing right out. Um, don't wipe stains on, on like silk and cashmere with water. Don't do that. It do, that doesn't really work very well. Um, that just kind of spreads the stain. This is in very good condition. This is kind of like a cable knit. Really, really nice, guys. Man, I can't wait to list this stuff. Like, this is fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun. All right, so check this out. Let's leave it on the hanger. Calvin Klein. This is made in India. This is an older one. We're going to try this on right now, guys. Here we go. Check it out. Let's see what we got. It seems a little, yeah, it's for a large. It's kind of like, it's a little small. Ah, oh, yeah, that's tight. Yup. Nope, can't keep this one, guys. I mean, it looks... Yeah, this is way... This is too tight. Too tight. Can't do it, guys. Nope. We're going to have to sell that. And it won't fit my other son, obviously, because I'm a large and he's an extra large. This fits like a medium. So we got the medium, but it is... It's not made in USA, but it is a vintage Calvin Klein. So definitely we should do okay with this. Probably more on the Y2K... <clears throat> it may be a little bit newer than that, but it's in perfect condition. So we should get at least 25 for that. Remember, it is it's winter time. It's fourth quarter. People are going to be shopping for Christmas also. And check this out, guys. Brand new Eileen Fisher. There goes that fly. I gotta get that fly, huh? Brand new Eileen Fisher. Look at the price tag on that, guys. Oh my god. I think there's like one of these listed. It's got the zip. I have to figure out the exact. I do have a scanner. 
Um, I do have a scanner. You plug it into your computer and you can scan barcodes and it will take you on the web and it will show you. And then you can copy stock. You can take the stock photos. You can do things like that. Um, we are going to check this. I don't know if this is cashmere. I think it's a blend. I think I was looking yesterday and I think it was a blend. <clears throat> this is yak and merino wool. Yeah. All right, we have to make sure that this doesn't have any holes. So bear with me, guys. These are the ones that are, these are the money makers. We got to check. We got to look. Please, no holes, no defects. Can't do it, Captain. Man, look at that. It's got the different color sleeves. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, I think we're going to get like $100 for this, guys. I honestly do. I'm telling you, there is a lot of profit here. Check that out. Eileen Fisher, brand new. It's a very good brand. You should look out for it. Not all of it sells great, but it does sell very well new. So that's going to do really well new. And then, bam, check this out. Polo Ralph Lauren Cashmere. Brown, green pony. I think there's one listed new for like $150. Look at the price tag on this, guys. $325 for polo cashmere. And then when you see these in the store, um, they don't look like they're going to sell for that. Like, they just, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with, with certain clothing. Like, I just, I just don't get it sometimes. Like, hopefully, this doesn't have any holes in it. Like, I'm not worried about that Eileen Fisher crap. Or not the Eileen Fisher, that other. Not worried about the Jones, New York. Man, this is beautiful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm getting excited, guys. Sorry. I love profit. What can I say? Oh, man, this is great. This is beautiful. This, this is going to do well. Um, there's one listed. I think it's brown, green pony. I don't know what size it is. This is a medium. It's an okay size. It would have been better if it would have been like an extra large or something bigger, but I'll take it. I'll take it, guys. I'll take this all day. I paid $3 for this. <clears throat> that in itself deserves a good title and a, um, and a thumbnail, right? $3 for a $300 shirt? Yeah. Okay, so this is another one that I kind of took a chance on. Um, the brand is called Sweaters. It says Machine Knit. This is acrylic and wool. It's made in Italy, but check that out. It says Klondike. Klondike is like skiing, right? It's like a skiing... No, it's hiking. Klondike is, I guess, the Klondike bar. It's like the mountain, whatever. Something like that, so... Whatever. I just thought it was really cool. I didn't want to leave it. Like I said, I may go back today, and I may even add to this video. I'm not sure. I think that this will probably be long enough. This is really cool. It's like a colorful knit. It's almost like, it's not like speckled or flecked, but it's like, it It kind of is. It kind of is like a, like, two, like a two-tone, like two different colors. See how there's black in there? <clears throat> so it's like black and blue. So this is actually in really good condition. I thought it was in worse condition than what I was seeing, but I've never, never seen nothing like this before. It is, it does have a lot of, I'm going to have to use the trimmer on it because it does have some pilling. It definitely has, it has a lot of pilling if you can see it, see all that. I'll get that off with the fabric. Shaver. The one that I use... I have the box for this now. Let me get the box and I'll show you. I paid I paid five for it. It's a Magic Tech. Magic Tech. There it is right there. Um, this is great. They work really good. You just throw batteries in it. I think that actually this one is chargeable. This one you just charge. It just has a regular Android charger. I paid five dollars at the community aid. Anytime I see these, I pick them up because I will use them. These are the good ones. Don't pick those ones up that have the blue cap on top of them. They're junk. They don't work very well. Um, that one, with my experience, has been the best one that I've found so far. And I've been doing this for seven years. So I have a lot of experience. And then here is another one. This one is a Polo brand new Pima Cotton. New Attacked, guys, is going gonna, is gonna to do very well. 
Look for new tag items right now. Even if you got to spend a little bit up on them because they're going to sell. Because um, just make sure they have a good sell-through rate. Polo is always good to pick up new for Christmas. Someone is going to definitely buy this for Christmas for their, you know, for their husband. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, really nice. Look at that yellow pony. Really beautiful yellow pony. This is just a great looking shirt. We are, we're going to have to look this one over too. It makes so far so good, guys. On the, on the clothing items that really matter, they don't have holes. So that is just a great really really good yeah i i might have to ask her if she has any more stuff like this that i will that i'll definitely buy it i'll have to send i'm going to send her a message today like if you have any more new with tag items um please let me know i will definitely buy them so this is excellent this is in this is new brand new no issues i'm not sure what that one's worth probably about forty dollars i'm thinking something like that and check this out really really pretty shirt it's a Lauren Ralph Lauren that's the green label mostly um they they make mostly women's <sighs> not a very high price tag on that is there thirty dollars well I paid three dollars for it and I could probably get thirty for it this is a cotton this is really pretty I don't know why that's only got a thirty dollar price tag on it you might want to rip that off because that there's a perforation on on most of these tags you have the, the option to take that off if you want and sell it for more if you can. Um, just to, um, because if the item is worth more, if this exact shirt new with tags is selling for $50, then I can get 50 for it. I can just take that off if I want, you know? It's up to you. I mean, it's just the market. You don't, you don't make the, you know, you don't make the market, it's supply and demand. So, you know, don't be afraid to do things like that. It's, it's okay. And check this out. This is really nice. Here's another Lauren Ralph Lauren. There were other women's items. I was trying to stay away from them because I know that this has a hundred dollar price tag on it. But I'm not going to get nowhere near that for this. This is probably like maybe a forty dollar item. I could be wrong. It could be a little bit more. Um, it is a cotton wool blend, which is a good thing. Um, and it's a it's a cable knit, so that's really nice. Almost like a they call them fisherman sweater, something like that. The fly is right on my mannequin's head, right in the middle of his forehead. Getting my fly swatter. Whack! Hold on, guys. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna put a dent in my in my mannequin's head, but I'm gonna get that fly. Oh, he moved. He moved. Flies don't make you crazy. They'll make you nuts. They're making me crazy. You're making me crazy. All right, we are down to the wire, guys. Down to the wire. Two more items. This one is new with tags. I did look this brand up. It's called Fen Wright and Manson. It's 100% merino wool. This is, I'm guessing, I think this is a woman's. Yeah, judging by those buttons right there, this is definitely a woman's sweater. But it is new with tags. It doesn't have the price on it. Um, these don't do as well. This is probably like a $30 sale. Um that might even be pushing it. I don't know, but I'm okay with that. That's cool. Yeah, it's got the hang. Anytime you see that inside of a sweater, that's women's. That's that's so you they can hang it on a hanger like this, and those pieces will hook into there, so they can hang it that way. Um, I don't know why. Maybe to dry clean or you know, whatever. It's definitely. It was new with tags, and it was three dollars. You know what? What do you want? What do you want from you guys? Three doll hairs. And then I did look this up. This is the one that would be considered a fisherman sweater. This is a thicker, heavier um, knit. Um, this is Paul James made in England. It is a 100% wool sweater. Um, I don't see any stains on this. We're good to go. Um, no holes. There's a lot of holes in it, but they're supposed to be there. Um, so this is in great condition. This is a good brand too. This is probably a $40 item. So um, I don't know what the profit is on today's um, stuff. We're going to lay this. Probably just lay that flat. You're going to take that off. These aren't really the kind of hangers I like to use. I'll use the I'll use the plastic ones that have the metal here, but I don't like the felt ones, and I don't like the ones that are all metal. I don't like them. They bend. They're junk. Um, <clears throat> I prefer plastic hangers. This is like a suit hanger. 
that that's one because you hang the pants here there's there's a little bit of grip here so the pants don't slip um, I like the ones that have the bar where you can put the pants through and clip the bar so that way the pants don't move believe me got if you have a lot of suits the the pants will fall off all of your suits and they'll all be laying on the ground and you got to match them up and it's a pain in the ass but anyway guys I did look this up this Paul James and it's not looking too bad um, probably another forty or fifty dollars for this like I said I don't know the profit margin of any of this stuff I'm gonna get to work I'm gonna start getting this stuff photographed and listed I'm gonna get all of this done today it's roughly like 30 I you know what is it 27 items I'll definitely get this done today and I'm gonna try to contact this lady and be like look um, what else you got you got any more clothing like that I would definitely come buy it I'll buy it all um, there was a lot of other stuff too she had like Ralph Lauren jackets it's not far away she's only a half hour away and yeah not bad so let me know what you guys think in the comments don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed smash the thumbs up button hit the notification bell down there to get notified when I post another video new content is always um, I'm always trying to post videos and there's that damn fly where's it at all right guys thanks for watching peace out